What is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. Finally back in Spain after we were stranded over in Amsterdam. Wait, what? David, what did you just hit? Man, hold on, stop filming. Wait, what? Nah, man, that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. How would that how would that happen? There's a bunch of Gaines Cup supplements under the car. What? Bad news for my car, but good news for y'all because we just dropped two brand new Gaines Club supplements starting with an all new flavor of our Beast Fuel pre-workout. The problem with the other guys is they put just the minimum amount of each ingredient into their pre-workout to say is in there. With Gaines Club, we use the maximum effective dose proven in studies so that it actually takes your workouts to the next level. More strength, more pumps, more focus, more energy, no crash. And this new pink lemonade flavor, bro? Mm. It's like pink lemonades exploding inside of my mouth. And also our best-selling whey isoprotein powder is back in stock in a new flavor, peanut butter fudge pretzel. Each scoop packs 28 grams of the highest quality grass-fed whey protein isolate. I know y'all loved our first flavor, the chocolate chip cookie, but this peanut butter fudge pretzel, it's honestly almost too good to believe. Both of these are available now, and because you're watching my video, I'm gonna hook you up with the coupon code to save 10% off your entire order. Just go to gains.club and click that first link in description to take your supplement game to the next level. Oh my God. Julia, look at her butt. Oh, what? <laughs> we have not given y'all an update on the villa we're building here in a few months. And honestly, we haven't even seen it the last few weeks because we got stuck in Amsterdam, as you know. But it's starting to look like a house. So the first thing, other than this delicious pre-workout you'll see is that the house has been plastered and painted. There's some uh, some scaffolding there, so it's a little bit tough for y'all to see, but we have like an actual exterior finished of our house. We'll see if Julia is able to uh, finagle herself alongside the pool here as I walk over. Because the next thing I wanna show you is they've added in this, I think they call it a Baja shelf, but this is a, an area where we have like a shallow area of the pool maybe put a couple loungers here. And the scaffolding is kind of in the way here, but you'll see that it opens up to this beautiful view of this golf course. Over there, there's mountains you can't see. We have walls. We finally have walls, but not quite yet. Some areas they have not put in the walls, but slow and steady wins the race, right? It looks like the whole downstairs has walls, which is great. I don't think the upstairs does, and I'm curious to check if the basement does. So we have stuffing. It's not called stuffing, what is it? Uh, what's, this, what's it called? Insulation. Insulation, we have insulation, guys. But no walls, let's check in here. Yeah, just insulation. This is one of the bedrooms. Julie, I got some good news, I got some good news. There's dirty socks in the house. You know they're putting in work now. Oh, Julia. Oh, Julia. Oh, they have our black marble. Look at this. This is our black marble we're putting on the exterior parts of the house and in some of our bathrooms. It's so beautiful. I know you can't, probably can't see it really well. It's like really dusty and gross, but it has like these beautiful veins through it with some like brown and. Wait, hold up. Come out here. Come out here. They're already starting to put the black tile on. See, it's gonna be all up here, all the way over to that corner there. And then it's gonna go all the way, beautiful black tile all the way to that corner over there. This puts a smile on my face, man. They out here working. Now, two things. First of all, your boy needs a haircut really bad and I don't like filming without a haircut. So hopefully I upload this one. Just kidding, I'll upload this one. Second, I don't know if you can relate, but we've developed something that I'd call like gym ADHD where I used to only ever go to one gym, but now we're here, we got two gym memberships, and now I feel like I've gotten sick of both of the gyms a little bit, and now I wanna try a different gym. The problem is, is like, these are the best gyms like I've ever seen in the entire world, and we have five options, so I feel like we're a little spoiled, and we're like, oh, we're gonna go to different ones, or it's like how we move houses. <laughs> there might be a theme here. So this gym is called the IO, and it's more like a, top tier bougie kind of like equinox level gym it's got the indoor gym the outdoor gym we play paddle here as well and it's the closest gym to our house and our other gym real club paddle is always so packed with crazy amount of people here is like tranquilo easy anyway today gonna hit a full body push workout i'm finally back recovered from that stomach bug so it's time to put on some weight get my gains back let's go oh,
gains, bro. Workout complete. I am feeling quite lean right now, but I'm also feeling kind of small. My strength definitely went down a little bit. I've been afraid to weigh myself since uh, since Amsterdam, getting that stomach bug, not eating for a few days. Y'all know I'm a former skinny guy, so whenever my body has the chance, it just loves to drop weight, to drop fat, but also to drop muscle mass. So it's time to bring back a secret weapon that I used to utilize back in the Texas days. Boom, right here we got the return of French ass toast with some Spanish ass bread, so it's like circular, but it's nice and thick. That is the key to good French toast, is thick bread. Here you can see the macros of the French toast. Of course, we're gonna combine it with the new peanut butter fudge pretzel gains club protein shake. So the total of this whole meal is around 1,000 calories, 70 grams of protein. This is how we start gaining this weight back, baby. Let's go. And I can always spare a little piece for the brother man and for Rolo, aka little man. <laughs> The one thing that's going to make it difficult for me to uh, to gain the weight back is playing paddle, which I'm going to cut down on, but but I'm still going to play. And today we actually have a tournament, me and Daniel. Hello. And the last tournament I played was with my cousin Paco. We got smoked because there's all these like Spanish guys who've been playing their entire life. But me and Daniel, we're bringing our A game today. Yes, we must win. <laughs> of course. <laughs> First set, I thought we were gonna win. It was like 3-3, three, three, then we lost 6-3, and then the second set, we, we lost our minds, and we, we lost 6-0. It was, uh, we, we lost our confidence. Yes, a lot. Not smart, but uh, like a first match, not bad. I think Julie only filmed shots from the second set, so everything you watched was probably shit, but we did have some good points. We had our moments. Oh, there's nothing like starting the morning in the sea. Damn, it feels good to be back in Spain, man. So last night was kind of crazy because it was like 9.30, we're winding down, about to get some easy dinner. Then I realized I'd missed a message from Rob earlier in the day. It's this voice memo and he's like, yo bro, remember we got that reservation tonight, the one we booked a month ago, you already paid 300 euros for. And then David starts freaking out, starts swearing. I'm like, what, what's going on? I'm like, we completely forgot. How did we not remember? And also Rob, why didn't you send me at least another text message to remind <laughs> us, bro? So we show up like two hours late to the reservation. This venue is insane. It's called Mamzelle. It's like a club slash dinner place. The food was amazing. The drinks were amazing. And it's so crazy because when I think that I've seen it all, I go to a new place in Marbella and it is just so wild. Everything is so amazing here. And the problem is Julia and I are the type of people who just want to like take it easy every night. That's been me my whole life, right? Just chill back, watch a movie, watch some Netflix. So we made a pact that whenever we're invited out for something here, we say yes. Maybe we only show up for an hour. You know, maybe we only show our face, say what's up and bounce out. Like last night, we, we didn't stay that long. We got back at like 1 a.m. This is something I actually did back in the day. I made the pact with myself. This is when I was trying to like get out of my shell and meet more women that whenever I got invited to something, I'd at least stop in and say what's up. So if you're like a same type of person, it might be a good rule to make for yourself. Obviously, if you're someone who like loves going out and partying, don't make this rule because you're just like allowing yourself to be corrupted. But yeah, it was a fun night. So we tried out the indoor gym here at the I.O. today. Not as much equipment as outside, but like this lighting is stupid and it's AC'd in here. It's nice to have the option one day you can work outside, one day outside. I think we're gonna have to get the membership here. But we played a lot better. Yeah. We played at the beginning. Yeah. We were beginning, dominating, yeah. honestly. Yeah. And then we have this problem. It happened yesterday too, I guess, where we lose focus or something. Yeah. We had a better attitude today, but we uh, we had to improve the, this type of of the match <laughs> in the medium <laughs> because we begin. We start strong with, and yeah. then we end strong. Yes. With the middle, we yeah. shit. Ahora, vamos, vamos para la próxima. Ready, we've explored a place that we've never been to before. We're downtown Marbella. Look at this. It's like a city and it's a beach and you can smell the water. And I'm like a dog right now. All I want to do right now, bro, is just jump in that water right there. I just want to be in it. It's crazy, like a city on the beach. I know there's a few of those, but it just still seems unreal. And now we're going to do our favorite thing probably in the world. Can you guys guess it? A Thai massage. It rejuvenates the mind and the body. 
And we're playing so much damn paddle and lifting a lot lately that it is much needed. Okay, I'll see you guys after the massage. I think they're coming. It felt so good. Oh, I love massages. And I love eating pizza on Sunday. Max got us on this damn habit and it, it stuck. We miss you, Max and Taylor. Pepperoni pizza as always, or as they call it in Spain and Italy, Diabola. And now we're gonna watch Knock at the Cabin, which Julie's afraid is gonna be a horror, but it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a good movie. It's always horror. They're always horror. We were called and are united by a common vision. What a strange movie. It was not horror, it wasn't scary, but strange. Six out of 10? Seven out of 10? 7.5. It's worth watching. I don't know, it's weird. It's worth watching though. So I finally got that haircut that I was desperately needing, that fresh fade, which means I gotta go film this whole damn video again. Gotta get another paddle tournament going. Gotta go schedule another massage. The messed up thing is that those are like real thoughts that go through my head. I'm always battling this crazy YouTuber voice inside of me that everything needs to be perfect. Every shot needs to be perfect. And I've gotten a lot better the last couple years, partly because look, we have like the sit down videos now where I give focused advice. We have the podcast. And I feel like when I do these day in the life videos, like it's kind of the point for these to be more raw, unfiltered. You guys probably actually prefer the imperfections than if every shot was perfect. And speaking of the podcast, the third episode ever just went live with your boy, Rob Libset. I was failing in everything in life. Well, I'm still doing that. Same. <laughs> Sitting across looking at Linda's big boobs. She went so psycho on me and I just hope she's not listening. I'm becoming a man. A, a man? I'm there in this yellow Ferrari, absolutely lace myself with caffeine and stimulants, apparently on the balls. Why would I ever do that shit, bro? You've got that European blood in you. The Irish, we love beating our wives. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go into monk mode. That, that's what, yeah. when me and Linda have sex most. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a lie. You seeing that off without me? Finish it up now. Oh. <laughs> Why the f we do all this? F this. Link down in description to watch that full episode now. Also, link down in description to pick up your new Gains Club. So go order the new Gains Club, then go watch the podcast episode. You can also click right there to watch the podcast now. I'll make it easy for you, and I will talk to all y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.